Let's look at how to create a scatter plot on Excel for Mac. For this example, we are going to look at Beep Beep's bedtime snacks. Now, if you're not familiar with who Beep Beep is, this is this is Beep Beep. He uh, he's a bear that likes statistics, and he uh, he takes it fairly regularly. Um, he gets really close to passing sometimes. Well, Beep Beep before going to bed has snacks. And his two favorite things to have before snacks are Coke and cookies. We have some data here that, com that keeps track of how many cans of Coke he has and how many cookies he has before going to bed each night. And we've got three uh, sets of data. On the first night he had one can of Coke and eight cookies, two cans of Coke and seven cookies, three cans of Coke and three cookies on the third night. Now we want to put this into a scatter plot. And the scatter plot is an illustration of how the different points relate to each other. We want the Coke, this first column, to go on the x-axis going across horizontally, and the second column is for the y-axis going up and down vertically. Now the way that we do this in Excel is pretty straightforward. I've I've got the data and then I've made it into a table already. So if you already if you have columns without uh, uh, a table, you can go to insert and then choose table and it'll make it into a table like this. Now, what we want to do is we want to go to insert and go to the chart area and choose the XY scatter plot and choose the first one that comes up. And look at that, we have um, uh, a, a scatter plot. Now, we can improve this quite a bit. Um, right now it says cookies. Let, uh, let's, we, but it doesn't say what these axes mean. So let's go to add chart element, and we're gonna add axis titles. First, the primary horizontal one, and this will be uh, delete what's there and type in cans of coke okay now we can go to we can add the y axis title axis title primary vertical and we want it to be uh let's go to there delete everything we want this to be cookies so we can, and we can change the title here to Beep Beep's Bedtime Snacks. Now what else can we do to make this look nicer? There's a lot of grid work here. Let's turn off those grids. That, that doesn't really help anything here. So we can go to Grid Lines and turn off the grid lines. It looks, uh, in my opinion, it looks a lot more professional to not have the uh, the grid line. So I'll primary major vertical, I'll turn off also. On there, now we've got a clear picture of the uh, um, the the scatter graph there, and it's very clear what what's happening. And um, now we could even go further. Now this is this is a perfectly good scatter uh, uh, plot, but we could add a um, a trend line showing how this is a linear relationship and what our best guess is. So if I go there, I can go to trend line, and if I click uh, a linear forecast, and this will give me a linear trend line, and it'll uh, it changed the axes a little bit, but this shows what we can expect. So it looks like if Beep Beep has three cans of Coke, we can expect a little bit more than four cookies. Um, or about four cookies, three or four cookies, two cans of Coke, about uh, six or seven. And this is, this is pretty good. This is, it just, the line's pretty close to where uh, uh, the dots are. And if he had four cans of Coke, we would expect indeed about one cookie. So this is how we do a, a, a scatter plot in Excel. And we have also added a, a trend line to uh, uh, the, the scatter plot.